um, thank you for coming back to my channel. I am somewhere different. I'm here with the amazing Rachel from Ellie Beth Designs UK, and we are going to answer a few questions that we um, asked in. This is not going well, is it? There's, there's it's no going flow. fine. There's no flow here, people. Okay. It's going fine. We'll keep this in. It's funny. Is it? Maybe it's not. I don't it's know. It's fine. Um, we asked in the Ellie Beth Designs Facebook group if anyone had any questions, and we thought we'd answer them. So we're going to get straight into it. Okay. And um, Linda has asked, please can you explain the different types of planners? So just a small question then. It says, yeah, has everyone got a cup of tea? <laughs> you know, um, we yeah. have. Do um, if you yeah. haven't already. Yeah. Um, so this is really interesting actually, because I think this is why I became a planner addict, the different okay. types of planners. Yes, I would agree with that. So I remember when I first got into kind of... I'm going to call it creative planning because that's the way I look at it. I've, mm -hmm. always, I've always had a list, but when I first got into it, I thought, right, I'm going to download my own inserts, I'm going to get a ring band planner, and I'm going to sticker eight for the whole year, and that's what I did. Just like one like yeah. one sticker a day near enough for like loads of time in advance. And then I just realised that is not what I want. Oh, this is Tom, by the way. You sometimes hear his bell on my videos. <laughs> um, then I realised this is not what I want to do. I want to have something to do every week, and then I discovered Erin Condren. So I ordered the Erin Condren. So then I had two types of planners in my life. I had a ring band A5 and I had an Erin Condren. You were an A5 girl? Yeah, I, I start an original A5. How did I not know this about you? I know, back in the dark days. Wow. Well, actually, no, my first ever planner was a Peacock Filofax. Um, it was beautiful. I can't remember what it was. Yeah. I sold it like on eBay. And I remember I got loads of money for it on eBay and I thought... That's weird, it's just a file of facts. I know. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, this was like in, two, I said this was in 2007. All right, okay. A long time ago. And I, it was my, it was my graduation present from university. I shouldn't have really sold it. Sad times. I'm gonna hunt it down. I'm gonna find it. If you have it, I want it back. I need <laughs> it back in my life now. Anyway, yes. Oh dear, okay. Yeah, so that's, that's the planners I know about. And then obviously, well, we'll talk about Traveller's Notebooks, because that's where I've got into now. Yeah. But do you know about... I don't, I've never had a happy planner or a disc planner. Have yeah. you? Yeah. I mean, really, in terms of different types of planner, it comes down to how big do you want it to be? Mm. And... What's its use? Yeah. Do you need something that's got the hours of the day in it? Do you need something that is just great for making lists? Um, for some people, just an, a monthly overview and lots of note paper is yeah, perfect. Yeah. Um, happy planners, yeah, they are disc bound, so I found them just too floppy. They yeah. annoyed me. Which they then did bring out the covers to go on them, which was nice. Yeah. But again, it's just it becomes very big. Mm. So then they made a mini one, mm. which is lovely. Yeah. Do you That's have one? Small. I do have one. Oh. Well, I gave it to Eleanor. Oh, okay. Um, but it's too small for me. Yeah. So. It's horizontal yeah, layout and as it's well, horizontal it? yeah. as well. So there, your days are kind of going that way instead of across. Yeah. So yeah, but I think really just if you're struggling to choose a planner, um, get a pencil and a piece of paper and just see what you actually need to be reminded of during a week and try Absolutely. Out different layouts. And I think yeah. that was when I realised what type of thinker I was as well. Mm. I am a vertical thinker. I mm. need. I think in time. And I think in lists. Where when it's horizontal, I can't quite. For me, it just doesn't work, and then mm. I don't look at things and I forget things. Um, but I've really enjoyed the the traveller's notebook system, um, because and the way that I'm doing it, I'm just make my own layout each week the way that I need it for that yeah. week, and that's just been really successful for yeah. me. And Rachel and I were saying that I've stayed in this system for a year and a half. That's a long time. That's commitment to the planner. That is commit to the planner indeed. So I think I've found what works for me. But definitely downloading inserts, trying different inserts, printing out different things, yeah. drawing it out on pieces of paper. Yeah. That's what made me find yeah. it. Um, and, it, and if all else fails, just pick the one that's got the cover you like the best. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> because if you like something, you'll make it work. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. if you want to change it, change it. Yeah, definitely. If it's not working, just change it. And don't... Yeah. I mean, we've had this this, 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 we've had this discussion a lot this morning. We have, yes. Because um, somebody has too many planners to play with and doesn't know what to use. Mm. Don't know who that would be. No. Tom. Tom. <laughs> yeah. But Cat also, plan. <laughs> yeah. But also, we both have an Erin Condren yeah. that we don't necessarily use on a day-to-day -day basis, but yeah. I really like the spiral-bound yeah. size of it to look better. So, yeah. 
memory planning, we don't know. Yeah. So I think that answers that Otherwise question. known as, the right planner for you is probably the next one you're going to buy as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, Linda's just saying that yeah. she um, came to planners through bullet journaling. Okay, yeah. And I think that bullet journaling is, is, is so flexible as well. It is. Um, and people are saying that they only knew what Erin Condren what Erin Condren plans were because of our, because of your Facebook I said our Facebook group, I'm so sorry. Your Facebook group. Right. I'm on the design. You're part of the group. Yeah. You're okay. part of the group. It is our group, isn't it? It yeah. is. It's not my uh, group. It's everybody's <laughs> group that's in the group, obviously. If you're not yeah. in the group, then it's not your group. No. And if you're not in the group, you really should be, so come and join. Yeah, it's great fun. It's <laughs> one of the happiest, friendliest places um, in is. the internet. It's a nice corner. Um, what have we got next? We have got so many planner stickers, I get overwhelmed with it all. Yeah. Very true. Yeah, okay. Um... And then, um, I think the thing is with, with, with stickers is that it is, but does, for me, it becomes a bit of a collection. Um, and I like to collect the stickers and then use them at different times. And you can get overwhelmed and buy all the things. I did, I did start that way. I was mm. like, oh, I like that. I'll buy that. Buy that. And then I've just realised mm. now what I, I use and I need. Yeah. I could very much, I love a tiny kit with add-on boxes and headers now. And that will last me for two or three weeks. But that's also because you know which parts of that kit you were going to use it yeah. for. Yeah. So you know which bits you actually want to put a sticker on. Yeah. And again, it comes back to going back to pen and paper or pencil and paper and going, well, where would I want a sticker? Yeah. Rather than going, oh, there are all these stickers, I shall choose this and this and this and this and this. Yeah. Start with what you actually need yeah. first. Um, but yeah, I mean, the tiny kit, I think, is a cracking one to try for pretty much any type of planner. Yeah, totally. you get a good variety in there. You really do. Mm -hmm. um, it works really, really well. Mm -hmm. um, and that was from Tiger. And Jennifer would like to know where you get your inspiration from for all your beautiful kits and things that you create. Oh, gosh. Big question. <laughs> Just a slightly big question. Um can be all sorts of things. Often, obviously, I have certain artists that I, um, if they release some new artwork, then I'm I'm looking at it thinking, oh, what can I do with that? Mm -hmm. um, also, often people suggest things to me, um, or it might be it can be a quote. Um, I I do design quite seasonally as well, so you know I'm kind of looking at the spring colours mm -hmm. and and then looking for artwork that as got that in it. Mm -hmm. um, I think my favourite bit of designing kits though is then thinking about what quote to put on them mm. and I enjoy that because that's something you're going to look at all week mm. um, and I really want it to be something that's very positive. Yeah. I mean sometimes it's as simple as hello spring. Yeah. But you know. Spring and it's hello. Still, and hello. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I enjoy looking for those and looking for something a bit different. Mm. Um, so yeah. And that's so, another, yes. not to kind of talk about the group again but I, that's what I like about the group is that we people do suggest things yes. and and you and you then kind of when you see it come out in the shop you think oh I had a bit of influence in that yeah. or it's lovely to see that or I like the way that that works with yeah. other stickers that I've got and stuff as well so yeah absolutely um, Jennifer also asks what's the best thing about owning your own business hmm um, and I work for myself as well so I'm going to kind of yeah. answer this a little bit too go on then you 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 I, do you know what I really, really like now, um, is that I can, well, I think I was quite lucky when I worked for the schools that I worked for, that they really respected what I did and they they let me get on with what I could mm -hmm. do, but I feel that I can really do what I want to do now and do the mm -hmm. projects that I want to do. Yes. And really invest all of my creative energy into it because I'm, I'm very passionate about what I do. And so then I can just do those things and not feel that I have to take mm. work that isn't going to interest me because I know I can find something. I'm very lucky to be in a for, in a position to find something that I that I'm passionate about and I can do it. I know you say lucky, but I also know there'll have been a lot of hard work behind it, mm. and it doesn't happen just by accident. No. So I know what you mean though. But just don't do yourself down. <laughs> <laughs> Says she who's you know brilliant at doing that herself. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I agree with that. It's it's the freedom mm. of what you want to do. I think for me, it's it's always the fact that I am on that playground for the girls morning and mm. afternoon, mm. and I don't have to worry about holidays or childcare, mm. and they know that mum's there, mm. and it's that. 
that actually is the best bit um, of the wider kind of picture. Mm. Thinking specifically about the business, um, I love the designing. Mm. I love the people that I get to meet and sit with and film YouTube videos yeah. with. Um, I talk to people from all over the world all the time. Yeah, as well. it's crazy when you think yeah. about it and just yeah. the number of people that you come into contact with. Yeah. And, and definitely, I had one earlier this week, the emails that say thank you, mm. you're making such a difference to me because of what you do and that mm. just, oh, that just blows my mind. Yeah. It's amazing. It is. That's such a privilege. Really I mean, and it's just when you're doing something that that you love and it's bring, and it's yeah. bringing joy to other people it's it's a pretty wonderful thing isn't it it is and at the end of the day stickers and planning they're not i was about to say they're not going to save lives or cure cancer but perhaps they will who knows yeah. um but it's something that is a daily thing for many people mm. and that makes a daily difference and mm. that is yeah that's pretty special yeah, and I, I think special. I think when you're, we've all got lots on, you know, and, and we all have our own. It's going to get deep, people. I can see this now, but we all have our own, um, as my mom would say, our own cross to bear, and we all do the things that we need to do every day. And if we can make it clearer, mm. make it work in a calmer way or a faster mm. way, more productive, that's going to free up time for everything else, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely, which is just great. Yeah. And that's why the tagline of the business is brighten up every day yeah. because it's about having something that just brings a smile every day. Yeah. So, thanks yeah. for those questions, Jennifer. Yeah, good questions. Uh, one for Katie Teach. How do you? Mm. This is from Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Um, hi, one. Oh, hi, hi everyone. Actually. Yeah, hi everyone. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> One for Katie Teach, how do you come up with your layouts for your TN inserts? Um, mm. So I've touched on this before. I, um, I'll i just get out my little... I have all, all my little TN books here, but I'll get out my weekly book. Um, so I... Yeah, this is what the, this, this is something that drew me to make, designing my own... Oh, caught in a bookmark. Designing my own inserts um, was that sometimes I just needed to... This is quite, I'm quite actually at the beginning of a book, but sometimes I just needed to fill out a whole day with lists and sometimes I just need to know um, where I am with appointments and a small list. So I just thought there's no point in trying to have the same layout each each week and each day because sometimes it's blank, sometimes it's full and I can't get it all in. So I've just been drawing it um, the way that I want to, so I, I didn't put much on this weekend, I probably didn't need two full pages, <laughs> but then this week has been a week on four pages, because I was quite inspired that lots of people seem to be doing that this week, and I've really enjoyed it, so I might do that again this week, but then the week after I might decide to do a horizontal layout here, and a, I know, risque, horizontal then, then notes page, because I used to use a moleskin diary in like 2006 to 2008, I had yeah, one yeah. of those A5 yeah. moleskin diaries. Got week on one page, week on one page and notes. notes. Yeah. And I used to keep my lecture notes on there as well, mm. like in little boxes, and they're like mind maps, and they're really, mm. they're really cool to look back on. Um, so yeah, I might do that. And I just think that what's going on in my week will inspire how I need to lay it out. So if there's a lot that I need to do every day, it will have to be a day on a page. Mm. Or if I'm travelling a lot, I won't be on a day on a page, so I'll condense it down. And to be honest, I don't want to waste paper, you know, and I don't want to have um, loads and loads of empty pages. So this one, Mother's Day, I will probably go back and write a bit about Mother's Day or stick a photo there, maybe, mm. but then I stick photos in my Erin Condren, and thus the dilemma begins again. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. It's um, a vicious cycle, isn't it? It is. Mm. So, yeah, okay. that's why. Um, there, cool. was one, there was one for you as well. There's no question. question for me. There was. Um, one for Rachel Blundell. It... Sorry, is it tricky thinking up all the ideas for kits? They're all so pretty! <laughs> um, yeah, I think I touched on this a bit before, that they come from so many different places for mm. ideas. Mm. For kits as well, um, I think I just tend to look at the colours that are in the artwork, what's the predominant thing. Sometimes I'll be thinking, oh, I want to do such and such, and I'll go out and find something to fit it. Um, but yeah. The thing is, you have to bear in mind that there are quite a few kits that haven't got past... Um, me doing like the full boxes and the bottom washi stage because mm. it just didn't work. So there's and a whole file. There is a file of 
kit abandoned. graveyard. There is a kit graveyard, <laughs> yes, there is. And some of them are kits which other people have gone and used that artwork and done something oh, with. Oh, yeah, yeah. But for me, it's just not worked out or it's it's become too much the same or yeah. similar and you kind of go, or I kind of go, I just did blue the other way. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever, so. Yeah. There is a kit graveyard, yes. <laughs> mm. um, I just thought of something yeah. I'd like to ask you. Why rainbow? I know this is big, but why, I, I, I love it. I love the fact that, but what, what is it about the rainbow? Because it's such a huge big of the brown, a huge big of the, a huge <laughs> part of the brand. Yeah. Why, so I, I love the rainbows. I love oh. the fact that I can just be like, I want this colour. But what was it that drew you to keeping that? Because it's, it's so lovely. Um, well, rainbows are fabulous. Mm. And also for people who are indecisive like me, they're mm. also fabulous because you can literally have every colour. Yeah. Um, and I don't know, there's just something so visually pleasing about rainbows. Mm. And then of course there is also the the spiritual aspect of it, that you know, rainbows and, and hope and promises and, and all of that side of it too. Mm. So it's kind of a double a double it's very multi layered. My rainbow. It's Someone, like it's like there's many colours yeah. in the reason Wait. for the rainbow. Um, someone in my choir the other day, because I went indoor skydiving last Friday, um, and someone I told my the people in the choir that I went on a Tuesday, and this lady said that she'd been skydiving twice, and she skydived through a rainbow. Oh my word! I know. And she just said it was like one of the most like just seeing all the colours as she oh, was I'm going. Oh, I'm so jealous! Isn't that amazing? I mean, I don't That's know if I could jump out of a plane, but uh, I'd push you. If you <laughs> If there was a rainbow there. <laughs> That's true friendship. I'd push you out the plane to see the rainbow. <laughs> um, but isn't that amazing? That's Yeah, it's really, really cool. Yeah. 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 We digress. We do. But rainbows are not a bad thing to digress onto. Um, Liz a lot says, Oh, so happy about this, but sorry, nothing to add. That's fine. Thank Liz a lot. lot. <laughs> um, Bobarina. Um, uh, so Robin. <laughs> yeah. She says, not really a question, but a tour of Rachel's setup would be intriguing. Yes, and then I said, is it filming or office? And she kind of went both. Well, we'll see what we can do. Yeah. I might put some um, footage in yeah. at the end, or I might film that over for my channel. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, we can move it there. See maybe. what I can do. I've got to do a lot of tidying first. Maybe we could do a, um, a collaboration video and we'll send some footage of our different setups. Yeah. And we'll put it together in another, a whole other video. We will figure it out. There we good. Hold that thought. Um, Sharon has asked, has your planning style changed over the last two years? My planning style's changed over the last two, <laughs> two days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, is the answer. I think we can. And I think we'll just leave that, shall we? <laughs> Should we just leave it as a yes? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've been vertical, I've been horizontal, I've been page in a day, I've been page hourly. on two days, I've been hourly. Oh, my days. Yeah. Literally. Oh, my days. Oh, my days, <laughs> quite literally. Yeah, it does change. And... I think I've reached the stage where actually I'm saying that's okay because yes. I was having a proper rant this morning, wasn't I? Yeah. Along the lines of, I just want to commit to one thing and it for it to be consistent and it must be consistent to be perfect. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Um, we were saying that yeah. actually it's the the choice, the flexibility, the mm. moving with your brain, the moving with what the, that that's what's needed. Yeah. And that might when when you kind of look back at the year and think, oh, I was a bit there and a bit there and a bit there then you can think, oh yeah, but that was a really busy time of my life, or that was a time where I had more time to spend on this, and and that's okay. I think one major thing that has changed in my planning style, which I want to change back to, is I don't forward plan enough. Mm. So quite often I'm not planning, like for next week, I've only just done that, and actually that's quite early, I would, it might get to Saturday or Sunday, whereas I used to fill out two, three, four weeks at a time. Did you? In advance. Oh. With what I already knew was happening. And then I could just add into it. And I actually think I need to go back to doing that. See, that's where I use my phone. Um, my phone is my forward planner. Everything's on my phone. What? Technology. I know. Um, <laughs> everything is on my phone. And then I put mm. that into my planner at the mm. beginning of each, on a Sunday. So mm. I can just kind of in detail think about mm. the week. Um, but I, I have stuff in here in 2019. Mm. Okay. Um, we've got any more? We've got one more. Our favourite spread of all time. <gasps> I'm going to actually be a bit cheesy here. So you it's my current one. My right, current one. Okay. Because I do really like it. It's that beautiful... It um, is really nice. That, what, yeah. what kit was it? The limited edition piece. Just such a beautiful... Beautiful. Let's hide our faces so it focuses. Beautiful, beautiful kit. The greens. It's lovely. 
I love it. Yeah. Um, but also, one of my favourite spreads of all times was a rainbow one. Mm. And it was my first time that I put something in the, the big EC groups. And it got loads of likes, and it was rainbow, but it had your little dash hand stickers in it as well, oh, in their little rainbow yes. jumpers. And I had, I had three of them looking into Wednesday, and like four of them looking in yes, the other I way. Yes, I remember those. And it, then with the rainbow stripes, and it was yeah, such a popular... Yeah, I think they should. Maybe yeah. rainbow dash hands. Yeah. You could have little rainbows all the way down, like the pencil ones. They should be dash hands yes. of all the different colour jumpers. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we can do that. <laughs> okay. Right. Far too excited. We're going to have to make that happen, aren't we? Yeah. Because they are very cute. But that was one of my favourite spreads. Yeah. In fact, I think I'm going to have to do a, a, big, rainbow. a rainbow week. I could yeah. do each page a different colour. I'm actually feeling like I need to do rainbow once I again as well. I can stick a rainbow. <laughs> stick a rainbow. Yeah. Are you finished now? I think Tom reacted. No. 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 I didn't know. <laughs> um, but that's it. Okay. Thank Fabulous. you for being on my channel, Rachel. That's okay. Um, Thank you for having me. I hope you've enjoyed our chat. Yes. Uh, with our With our... Crochet. Um, yes. We just filmed a Yarnia podcast episode mm. on Rachel's channel. Yes. So please make sure you go. I'll leave a link in the description bar below. Please make sure you go and check out Rachel. Please subscribe to Rachel and subscribe to me. Um, click this. <laughs> click that. Um, do the notifications <laughs> bell if you want to. But we're both on Instagram as well. Yeah. And um, my my phone's ringing now. So we're going to go and we'll speak to you soon. Bye. Bye. Look how we just like hold it there. Yeah. Because you know we can't do a freeze frame. <laughs> we have to physically do a freeze frame. Let's go. Hello. You will see that I am somewhere different. I am with the lovely Rachel. I'm looking at the wrong bit. I'm gonna start again because I'm looking. Oh, I don't know where I'm looking. Here. Here. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm gonna start again.